I just want to share with you guys a little glimpse of the kids doing their homework. This clip was supposed to be added to their other video, but it would have been, or our other video, but it would have been too long if I would have added it. So I want to share with you guys just a little bit what we did with Declan and the twins with their new curriculum. Um, and then uh, we'll probably add some other videos coming out soon with Eli and Hudson's curriculum. I finally got notified that their curriculum is getting sent and we are waiting for a period of time, but with all the stuff going on with COVID and stuff, everything was on a big delay. So I finally got notified that it will be coming in. So we'll be doing a video shortly on that. If you guys have any other ideas that you wanna share with, or you want me to share with you on what the kids do during the day with their curriculum, leave me a comment down below. And um, what else? Nothing else is really new besides just continuing with what we have. Everything is going good so far this year. So this is just a little glimpse. And then um, I'll try to keep adding some more stuff in the days that ahead of some of the stuff that they're doing. Um, we have some other stuff planned too that we will be tying in with our videos. Um, hopefully soon when the weather gets just a little bit nicer and a little bit more sunny. So we'll be doing that soon. So hopefully you guys enjoy the next part of this video. And um, if you guys have any comments, just leave them down below. Well, one of the things that I needed to do for me to be able to get schoolwork with, done with the little ones, I decided to let Evelyn color on my new chalkboard, try race board. That's the one that I got from Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna let her play with that. She'll have fun with that. I maybe give her some different color markers too, so. That'll be fun. Right, Evelyn? Is that fun? Yeah. Is that fun? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The first one. Yep, right there. Okay, so Miles over in the blue and Declan here are going to work on this book. So this is where we're going to start. It says short or long. Adding E to the end of a word can change a vowel from short to long. Removing the E can change a vowel from long to short. So draw a line to match each short vowel word to the long vowel word with a silent E added. Then point to the silly scene that shows each pair of words. So they got pictures to go by on the bottom. So we need to change this word and we need to add an E to it. So where can we draw a line over here that looks the same? So we have cap, which is a short A. So they call that a short A when you go eh, okay? And we need an A, we need an A sound. Yeah. So we need to find where we need to draw a line. Where do you think we should draw a line? Where do you think it's gonna match? If we add an E to the end. So when I uh, teach the kids, I give them a little bit of time to kind of think it over in their brain and stuff. And then sometimes I give them a little cheat things or little hints to help them out. So um, we have cap. Okay. And we need to find cape. You get it, Miles, right? If you add an A, you're going to, or add an E, you're going to be making it a long vowel sound. Okay, so Miles can probably move on because he's did stuff like this before. So we have cap. Where over here does it look the same? We just have to add an E. So we have cap here. Does this have C-A-P? Um, no, right? No. Okay. Does this have C-A-P? No. Well, C-A-P, yes. yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then they added an E, right? That's yeah. what they want us to do. So you need to draw a line to there because that matches. This? Mm-hmm. The circle to the circle. Now they have man. They want us to do main, where it has an E at the end now. Where over there does it look the same but with an E at the end? So we're gonna draw a line from here to where there's a main. Yep, good. Okay, okay. So the next, so I'm gonna go over the words quick and then you're gonna do this by yourself just for a second. So tap, 
we need tape. We have cub and we need cube. We have pin and we need pine. So can you match these to this side to where they go? Just look at them really close. They almost look the same. So I'm gonna help Lachlan here quick. Now I'll come back to you, Declan, if you don't get it. So I'm gonna start Nash and Lachlan here with their math. I didn't really know if I was gonna give you guys a, a view of you know what they were gonna do today, but we'll share that too, right? Um, should I just move on? Yeah, what does it say at the end of the page, though? What is the silly picture? Oh, because you added a ca cap. The cap and the cape go together. See, the cap oh. and the cape go together. And then the man and the mane go together. So mm -hmm. that's kind of cute. Uh, cub and cube go together. And what is this one? Pin um, and pine? Yep. Yeah. What's the pin? Oh, oh, never mind. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so here it says the silent. So I was going to, okay. That's okay. I'll start with you quick. The silent E machine. Add a silent E to the end of each short vowel. So this is short vowel U, and we need to make it a long U by adding an E. So take away the silent E from each long vowel word. Write and say the short new short vowel word. So I think they're going to go... Um, opposites so they want you to minus the e on these but add an e on these so they want you to go long vowel on here short over here so you just have to fix the e in there okay so now with yours okay we're not going to play with toys uh one of the things with boys and things and things Make sure you just don't have a lot of distractions in front of them because my kids are like futzers and they want to play with things. So you got to always make sure there's not in front of them. Okay, so it says count the blocks and circle the correct number. Okay, how many blocks is there? Two. How many blocks do you have on your page? Two. Okay, where is the number two that you need to circle? Can you circle the number two? All right. So go to the next one and answer that next one. How many blocks are there? Six. Good. Can you write that? Six. Or circle? Good job. No, no. Down below, Nash. Oh. Down below. The answer is done. Yep. You got to do six. Good job. Can you change? So, oh, one of the things, too, is it says lesson um, 1A, and then they have to turn the page, and it'll say right here, lesson 1A. And then that's their whole math for that day. And then 1B and then they switch or uh, change the page. So they really only have three problems to do today. And that's okay in the beginning to teach that way. Now, if your kid is a little bit more advanced and wants to do more, they can do more. But we have a lot more books to go through. So we're going to do this. Okay. Can you change your page and get to this one? Okay. I'm going to come back to Declan here. How far did you get? I don't you got know. cape. You got man. You got tap, and you made tape. You got cub, and we need to make, look at cub and cube. We need to make cube. Where's cube? I don't Over know there. what's gone. I don't know. It's right here. Wait, what's, oh. I didn't see that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, cub? Yep. And cube. cube. Cube? Does that look like the same? Hmm? Does that, yeah, that looks the same, doesn't it? All right. Yep, go all the way over. Um, and then pin. Um, with Declan, uh, when he was little, so he ended up with, like, speech therapy and different things. So he has a hard time sometimes. He can do a lot of work in his brain. He's really smart inside. But he has a hard time... Um, doing things quick. So it takes him a minute, but he gets it. So he doesn't have a learning problem per se, but he just, it takes him a minute to think, okay, what do I have to do? Um, and he cannot be distracted at all because that's really hard on his brain. But when we do school, I mean, the main person is going to be Evelyn. That's going to be our bi biggest distraction, but otherwise he does pretty good. So now over here, they want you to take the short vowel sound. So this is uh. So cut, cut, 
right? They want you to say cute. And the only way to make this say cute is if we add an E to it, okay? So you're going to write it right here, C-U-T-E, right here, and then it's going to say cute. Okay. So C-U-T-E, there, that's how you do that. Okay. I get this one. Okay, how many squares are there? You could have did it without me. How many squares are there? Lock then, your page. How many are there? Four, good job. Yeah, four. Now, you can keep going if you want to, or we'll just move on to another book. What do you want to do? You want to keep going? I'll, I don't need your help. I know, but you only need to do, needed to do what you did already. You're done today. Do you want me no, to? you're all done. So put your math book away. Go put it in your cubby. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that little clip of the kids doing their schoolwork. Um, I told you guys in another video that Miles and Declan's are going to be a little bit more challenging this year because Declan is in first grade and his stuff is a little bit more advanced. So that's why with Declan I'm going to have to sit down with him and the twins a little bit more because they have different homework as for the other kids are able to kind of go on their own this year. So if you guys um, have any questions for me, leave it down below and don't forget to give me a big thumbs up because that lets YouTube know that you guys are enjoying my homeschool videos. And don't forget to subscribe so you guys can follow along um, some of my other homeschool videos that hopefully will be coming out soon and some of the extra stuff that we'll be adding soon. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today. Bye.